very nice. My name is Shamir Shah. I'm a landscape photographer, passionate adventurer, mountain biker, and a devoted conservationist. A few years ago, my freedom and independence was nearly taken away from doing what I love by becoming a carer for my special needs son. Since then, I've doubled the stakes of my mission to make nature and the outdoors an inseparable and fundamental part of every family. This has now become my project. Hello and welcome to this Sunday's episode of the Shamir Shop Project. This episode is about campsite cooking and I'm going to knock up a pretty amazing meal. I am going to make some broccoli fritters. It's absolutely yummy. The beauty about this dish is that you can have it as a snack or you can make burgers out of it and actually have it in burger buns. There's a little bit of work pre-cooking but it doesn't take very long to cook once again it is a campsite meal campsite meals are meant to be fast nutritious and uh, full of joy so uh, welcome hope you've had a great weekend so far and uh, let's dive in and make one of our favorite snacky meals when we're on a campsite so these are the main ingredients that goes into the broccoli fritters so I've got broccoli all the vegetables are pre-washed. I've got some cauliflower. I've got half an onion. Red onion is best. And a clove of garlic. I've also got some um, chickpea flour. The chickpea flour goes into the mixture. And some coriander, which goes into the mixture. In terms of spices, I've got some paprika. I've got some nutmeg. And we're also going to add duck seasoning to give it that Asian, Middle Eastern, Moroccan flavor to it. And once the mixture is combined and made, we're going to cook the broccoli fritters in coconut oil. First things first, the vegetables, which is the broccoli and the cauliflower, needs to be parboiled to soften it up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it up really small, shred it up as part of the mixture for the fritters. I'm going to go ahead and chop up the onions and chop up the garlic. It needs to be chopped up quite fine. Once it starts to boil, you want to put the broccoli in there 
just keep them large chunks and then we'll shred it once the broccoli and the cauliflower is par boiled. So I've drained the vegetables and all I have to do now is chop them up a little bit, tiny pieces, and then stick it in the mixture. Just to let you know, I have got the, the main door to the van closed because it's really cold today. It's about three degrees, four degrees, very cold. So I really don't want to cook with the door open because it's freezing. Um, hence, I haven't shown you me draining the water. I really don't want to go up there and spend more time than I need to. So I've drained the water. We've got to chop them up, put them in this mixture, and then put all the herbs and spices in there, and then we're ready to fry them up. So in our mixture, we've got the garlic, we've got the red onion inside, we've got the chopped up broccoli, we've got the chopped up cauliflower. Now I'm going to add some coriander. This coriander was fresh and as most Indian households do, you buy lots of coriander, you clean it, you dry it, you chop it up and put it in the freezer. So that's why it is like that and I haven't had to chop it up. And then I will add some chickpea flour. The chickpea flour is about three tablespoons. So I've got two cups of broccoli, two cups of cauliflower and three tablespoons of the chickpea flour. Add some nutmeg, not too much. Add some paprika. You want to add some duck seasoning to give it that Asian, Middle Eastern, Moroccan sort of flavor to it. And then some black pepper, sorry, some salt and black pepper, or both at the same time. <laughs> and then all you do is you combine the mixture. That smells so good. It really does. It's not even cooked and it smells amazing. Get the pan nice and hot. The coconut oil is actually rock hard. It's so cold. It's rock hard. <laughs> there we are. Okay, that's it. That's all we need.
let's stick this mixture in there. Waste none of it. And then you pat it down. Nice and crispy on the outside, soft and moist on the inside. This is my broccoli fritters. You could quite easily say broccoli and cauliflower fritters because we've got broccoli in there, we've got cauliflower, we've got red onion, we've got some garlic and we've got coriander along with some chickpea flour and seasoned with nutmeg paprika and duck seasoning and of course a bit of salt and pepper and like I said this you could have it as a snack on its own or you could put it in a pita bread or a burger bun and have it as part of a bigger meal but this is easy to make super nutritious and absolutely yummy let's give it a go very nice What's missing, and I should have brought with me, is some chili sauce. You know, put some chili sauce on it and lap it up. Absolutely gorgeous. So, if you've liked this recipe, please go ahead and hit the like button for me. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this recipe. Will you make it at home? Will you make it out and about on a campsite? And last but not least, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe right here or down below. Absolutely appreciate it. I want to also thank all my supporters and all my contributors who have been supporting my YouTube channel and my photography work. I absolutely appreciate it. Thank you and see you out and about.